Hello peeps, how are you all going? It's Chris Blue 007. Yeah, uh, I'm going to show you something that's arrived in the post frightfully early for me, not too bad. But before, I've been asked, everyone keeps saying, when am I going to have my movie room, when am I going to have it done? Well, the fact is, I'm not going to get it built until um, i am just found out when he's actually going to do it. It's not going to be until next year. I'm not happy about that, January time. A long, long time away, so until then bugger all to do but I'm going to show you what my collection actually looks like in the spare room at the minute uh, in boxes because it's so annoying that I can't take them out so if we turn around we go in here this is a mess look at it boxes movies boxes shit DVDs in all these boxes sideshow collectibles the only one I've got out on display is the, uh, the massive Darth Vader bust Blu-rays still works DVDs or whichever, packed in boxes. What a bloody mess! What an absolute mess! It's terrible, isn't it? Look, it's awful. Look, look, oh dear! And um, drawing pictures at the minute and the pantheon that I went to. If anyone's ever been to Rome, there's my picture that I'm drawing at the minute. I've still got to do the right hand side to finish it off. But yeah, what a fucking mess! Look, a DVD sticking out the top there as well. Blu-rays, oh dear, oh dear, what can I do, oh, old Junkyard Man 5, look, look, it's your, it's your TX bus that you like so much, in a box, anyway, let's go downstairs and show you what I've got, so, let's turn around, oh, 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 I'm out of breath already, oh, I'm getting old, no, no, let's keep going, let's keep going, oh, here we go, maybe, oh, Right, okay, there we go, The Hobbit, mm, the Hobbits, um, Hobbit Extended Edition, with the annoying massive 3D, especially when 3D is not that big a deal anymore, and it's kind of a bit shit, they, they still put big 3Ds, and this is the jumbo version, still book, there we go, Smog on the back, brilliant character, and Bilbo on the front, not as nice looking, I think, as the uh, first version, because the first version had Bilbo as well, virtually the same, but with a blue background, which I've got. Um, and then we open this one up. I'm not a fan of jumbos, but they put so many discs in it, what can you do? Personally, they got two discs of 3D, but only one disc on Blu-ray of the of the extended film, which has got an extra 25 minutes to it. Now, I did do a still book review on this already, so I don't want to talk about the film all over again, apart from the fact it's so much better than the uh, the first one, The Unexpected Journey, and I'm hoping the Battle of Five Armies will be even better than this one, which I thought was on par with the Lord of the Rings films. I thought it was a very, very good film. And like the Lord of the Rings Blu-rays, this one comes with all the appendices that the other one had, where you get to see Middle Earth, you get to see the bigotures and all, all that business. You get a film commentary, which I think Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh did a bone that were absolutely brilliant on. Key sequences, how, how everything was made. Um, all that stuff, all that crap, all that gubbins, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, so there you go. It's a matte finish still book. Um, he's got his sting sword. I think this is the bit where he's um yeah he's he's in the he's actually in Erebor now and he's uh, meeting the um the uh, the dragon smog but why has he got a sword like that's really going to kill smog that little hobbit sort of midget sword not going to happen but anyway there you go there it is there it is I'm very pleased look forward to watching it um but I haven't even looked at the extended edition of the first part let alone this one and I'm I'm kind of inclined to wait another year now and just watch all three extended versions in one go rather than in bits. So I don't even know if I'm going to watch this. Um, I might watch the extras though because the extras are fantastic. Ugh! Here we go. Let's close the curtains up because I'm watching it. Fuck all of you. As per usual. Oh. So this is the disc with the movie itself, the extended edition with 25 minutes extra on it. Don't know what the 25 minutes extra is. Uh, but obviously going by the original Lord of the Rings, the key factors, some are good, some just extend on the characters and the plot, um, but overall, yeah, worth it for me, I, I do like Peter Jackson, he really makes an effort with his um, Blu-rays, it's a bit naughty that he releases the extended editions after, so you're double dipping, and you are going to double dip if you're a fan, I have, I did with Lord of the Rings, and then I've done the box set one as well, but what can you do, man, what can you do, the special features on this is just the commentary, 
but the uh, scene selection um, before with his old one he used to uh, show little stars where yeah I think he's still got them again new scene or extended scene so the quest for Erebor is a new scene so there's a new one in there uh, if I could, queer lodgings queer so what's that mean that they meet some gay people in there in in the new place they stay no no it's, it's just an uh, a new scene added to the um, burn at that man who turns into a, a big bear uh, an extra scene um, the same with the shadows lie um, Mertwood is an extended scene with the spiders so that's cool uh, what else have we got what else have we got Elven King King and God, I think it's such a long film now it's going to be uh, even longer Bard the Bowman Chris Evans is it Chris Evans no 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 Luke Evans very good in that show about Dracula Untold uh, the master of Lake Town I thought that dragon wasn't the best scenes in the film and now they've uh, extended it even longer oh dear um, the world of men um, interesting I don't quite know that as this is our fight the, the barrel fight and all of that business was very good the prophecy is an extended scene the prophecy as in the bit with the uh, the black arrow the only thing that can kill the dragon a warm welcome is extended scene the partner companies when they leave to go off on the quest I've extended that. I wasn't too keen on that bit. To be honest, overall, the late town bit, I wasn't as keen on that as I was the rest of the film. Uh, the Lonely Mountain, the extending on that scene. Okay, the spell concealment. That could be interesting. That's the bit where Sauron is revealed. Uh, where Gandalf goes to uh, Morgul or wherever it is. The Hidden Door, no. Son of Thorin, mm, interesting. New scene on the doorstep. And now we're entering into Erebor and the dragon in his quest to try and find the enemy revealed an extended scene of Sauron itself. Well, you might get to see more of him because all you kept seeing was flashes of his head and the shape of it. You didn't really get to see him. Maybe you might in this one, maybe you won't. Maybe it's a naked Sauron and he's got his willy out, I don't know. Uh, and, and then we go to uh, more scenes in the Dragon's Lair with Smog under the rest of the Bill the Burglar. Very good scenes in the film, very good scenes. There's a picture of our fellow YouTubers there. There we go. Uh, as we keep going, Elvish Medicine to. Um, is that no, 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 the, a name? What's her name in the film? Uh, Turiel? Is, 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 is it a son? Uh, that, that guy? That filial killy guy? Or is it actually a boyfriend in the past? I, I don't know. I've got to work that one out. I'm not too sure. God, how many chapters? This film is so long, but it's so good. Makes you want to watch Lord of the Rings all over again. If I haven't already seen it every single time, it's on television on Channel 4. Uh, Small the Golden. So no extra scenes there. Uh, and the credits, sometimes they leave, at the end of the credits, they leave, if, if you hang out and wait, they put some Easter egg. Although they don't really do Easter eggs nowadays with um, Blu-rays as they did with DVDs. And I remember that Easter egg of uh, The Return of the King, the joke on uh, Elijah Wood where... Uh, that merry guy was playing a prank on him as an interviewer. That was brilliant, that was. But anyway, there you go. So, that, so there you go. There's quite a lot of few scenes added to it that are quite interesting. And uh, should uh, jolly your cockles, as they were. Uh, quality looks... Whoa. I'm standing right in front of it. I'm on a 65-inch screen. And sometimes, if you stand right in front of a 65-inch screen, you can look at it a little bit bitty and you have to move backwards. Like so, da, 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 da. move backwards like so. Although I've got the reflections off of the TV light there, uh, and then then it looks absolutely crystal perfect. But this one, I'm going right up to the very front, and it looks fantastic. It looks like it could be a 4K, but obviously 4K. I've seen it in the shops, and whoa, looks fucking excellent, man. I don't know what I'm going to have to buy in the future. Then 4K TV. What will be bigger than 65 inch come the time? 75 inch? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Bilbo, Ugh, hobbits. Um, there he is. And we're all looking forward to um, part three, the final one that we're going to see Middle Earth. Because um, we've seen Lord of the Rings trilogy. We've now seen The Hobbit, which became a trilogy from two parts. Um, I still think they could have made it into two films because there's a lot of wasted extra scenes in the first 
unexpected journey, didn't need to be there. Fucking hell, that song at the start, bloody hell, that was dragged on. Um, and, and now we got the Battle of Five Armies, and, and, and that's it. That, that's it. Unless you want to see um, the, the Middle Earth one, the Farmer Giles of Ham by J.R. Tolkien. But um, there you go, there he is, looking mean, looking like a spanner. Looking like a complete tool. This is the Hobbit Extended Edition by Chris Blue 007. Very good film if you've not seen it, by the way. Um, lives up to par and, and less childish like you did in The Unexpected Journey, which was jokey. The only little bit, though, I'm, I'm not too keen on this as our sort of the impaler, the guy with the one hand and the spear. I think he's not the best sort of... Um, enemy of the lot uh, and, and his son as well that other big thing they, they look so CGI-fied and you know, I'm lacking in that bit but um, never mind the king is true to the word of the book they're doing very well they've all got their beards and the wigs going on and they look cool and, and it's a welcome addition having Toriel added to it who isn't in the book as well and I want one of those hats you just saw on that Irish dude they look really cool, or maybe some pointy ears. Okay then, alright, and cheers guys. I'll see you later.